I watched a boxing match recently. Somebody sent me this boxing match. I, I don't know what they were, you know, but anyway, somebody sends it to me. And they, they used to, the, the, first, the first clip is a guy getting a serious knockout, as in a serious knockout. As in that knockout where he's not sure whether he's in heaven or hell, as in you. He's all over the place, eh? The second clip I watch, there's this black American guy. He has a braided hair. He has a chest that looks like it's been chiseled. And then he has six packs. You know those things that even in my dreams I don't get? I don't know, in your dreams, do you have six packs? Me, I've never gotten dreams with six packs. <laughs> How unfortunate can a guy be? Even in my dreams. So this guy, my sister, he, he has, a, he's a guy you don't want to get into a ring with. And, and in the interview, he's saying that this time around, he's, he, I think he's unbeaten. He's unbeaten at this point. He's never had a knockout, you know. He's saying he wants a body. He doesn't want a knockout record on his, on, on his, on his uh, record. He wants, he wants to kill someone in the ring. He's saying, I want a body, I want a body, I want a body. And you know, he's, he's all over the place saying, I want a body, I want a body. And I'm wondering, oh my God, what to the guy he'll be fighting with. So in my head, I'm wondering, so who will be the opponent? And then, like a minute later, the opponent comes on. And I say, this opponent looks like a banker. As in, he doesn't have six packs, he has a, he had a cabelli, he has a thumb here. As in this guy has no business being in a boxing ring. As in he looks like Santa Claus. As in yeah, he's like me. He's been eating, he hasn't been exercising very well. And, and so they enter the, they enter the ring. Eh? And you can tell the guy who wants a body. You don't want, as in he's like, he's picture perfect. And of course he's saying things that I can't repeat here. Because they are not of the kingdom of God. So you can tell for sure that this guy is not born again. Now, the other guy, who at this point I don't even know that he's not born again. Later on is when I find out, Allah, this Santa Claus guy like me, he's born again. You know, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I said those who bring evil against me will not prosper. I said those who stand in the dark can never come into the light. All praise be to the one and only true God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So, the guy, he's, he's saying, I'm going to kill you, man. I'm going to kill you. You're killed. Your children will be fatherless. Your wife will be a widow. Hey, hey, I'm like, hey, must it takes guts to fight this guy. So they get into the ring. <laughs> he's fucked like a child by the banker. <laughs> I'm not just one. Yan is given like two knockouts. Yeah, like a child. If I was that guy, I would have shaved all my kunyole, left the gloves in the field, and moved to Africa. <laughs> I am telling you. You know that scripture that says, pride comes before a fall. Every time I see that scripture, I'll remember that guy. Because for sure, pride comes before a fall. Because he took an embarrassing fall. Now, people who are poor in spirit, they are not prideful. They are humble. They do not elevate themselves. Whether they are driving a small car or a big car, it doesn't make a difference. They are the same guy. Whether they are eating in Hil in, in at 680 or, or Hilton or, 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 or at Serena or here at Velarosa or, you know, it doesn't matter. Or you offer them a cup of tea and a tree in a kiosk, they will drink it with the same thankfulness. Hallelujah. Because they are poor in spirit. They realize that it is God who has gotten me here. I was here and I have not forgotten. Buana spirit. Praise the Lord. And they don't put people down. Because those ones don't have and they have today. No. They know that things can come and go. Praise the Lord.